Hi everyone, so yesterday I asked you for a bunch of cues and so today I'm gonna aid the f out of them. Let's go to Facebook. So Casey asked, if you could have the child of a famous celebrity, who would it be and why? Jay-Z, because he probably has a very deep pocketbook. Fletch says, if there was a video makers gathering planned for the Kansas City area, would you want to go there? Yeah, if you buy the first round. Steve asks, if you could personally witness any event in the time past, present, or future, what would it be? Future? How will I know it's an event if it's for the future? I guess I'd have to go back to 2200 BC and watch the construction of Stonehenge. Now Leslie asks, do you like the painting? Now what she's referring to is the painting that I purchased off of her and it's this and it's gorgeous and I love it. It actually showed up yesterday but I didn't get it till today because I was out of town. Jeff asks, if you were on death row, what would you order for your last meal? I thought about this because I could have easily said Shakey's Pizza, which is a combination pizza, because everybody knows how much I love Shakey's Pizza, but I'm going to have to go very, very traditional, and I'm going to probably say a surf and turf, a little lobster, steak, probably an inch and a half thick, medium rare, garlic mashed potatoes, and if it is my last meal, then we're going to have to go to Mary Max and go get the sweet potato souffle. Net Junkie Laws asks, how much do you miss us? Seriously, I can't even express to you how much I miss you guys. I'm so saddened that I cannot go to the Melbourne Gathering with you guys. Sadly, I won't be going to that because I would have to leave either the day before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving and travel for the two days just to get over there on time and I just can't do that to my family but you know my heart and my soul is with you guys with every beer you drink over there. Peter says, say you lost one of your hands and had to replace it with something, what would you replace it with? Your hand? Hello? No, I would um, I would probably do the mechanical hand because they're so strong and they're, the technology there is amazing so I'm gonna probably say magical hand. Now, Anna, who is Karma Girl 74 and Cooking with Karma, who happens to be the latest winner in YouTube's Next Up Chef, she is amazing. She's a good friend of mine. And she asks, what's the longest you've gone without sex? What time is it? No, and all joking aside, uh, I I went about five years. Dan Ryan asks, is it like this? And then he shows the Bad Santa video. Yeah, it was like that. Let's go to YouTube. D. Ray Wanda wants to know if I can come help him paint. Hell yeah. If I could, I would, and you know it. CJ Daddy X wants to know, I want you to come back to Atlanta when I... Can I hang out? I don't know when the next time I'll be coming to Atlanta. I usually come about once a month, once every two months. So I will definitely get a hold of you when I show up. Last Call Beam asked, would you smack me twice if I asked you two perverted things? Yes. Yes, I will. Maddie Post 1 asked, what is something you got away with as a kid that your parents never found out about? Now, I've got to admit, if you want to be specific and go for one thing, I would probably say when me and my brother used to take a bike ride and go from where we lived almost 30 miles out to the Great Salt Lake. She never knew about that, but if you want to be in general, I'm just going to have to say from age 12 to age 21. Bella Ditsy asks, so my question to you is, seems to be someone whose partner judges you a lot. Why do you stay when you're not happy? Do you feel that you're not meant to be happy? Don't worry about that. Uh, that was taken care of a couple months ago. Mad Mad World asked, what are the top three things on my bucket list? Complete a marathon, sing on stage without any fear, and ride a horse in Central Park. Little Weird Guy asks, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck would a woodchuck woodchuck wood? Uh, 69. EQV04, oh goodness, I don't even have to look at her question and I know I can just grab a shovel and start digging myself a hole. But anyway, she asks, do I like hairy vaginas? Only yours. All right guys, that's it for the questions for this week. Maybe we'll do it a little bit more. I will talk to you the day after tomorrow's yesterday. You guys, good night.